Hi everyone, it's Cindy here from Hooked on Crafts, and today I'm going to be sharing a few cards that I made using Spellbinder's Small Die of the Month for June 2019. Uh, the name of this die was called Kaleidoscope Trio, and um, I hope you enjoy the cards that I made. I will apologize that I did not get a video made for May's kit, but this is the card that I made. Um, just to give you a little inspiration. If you don't follow me anywhere else, I am on Pinterest and Hooked on Crafts. And for this kit, I went to Pinterest because I have a hard time deciding what colors go together. Um, so if you guys want to join me on Pinterest, I am Hooked on Crafts and I have a color inspiration board. And so you're seeing a couple of the color combos that I had picked out for these cards. I think it just helps me see what colors go together really well. Here's my Spellbinders inspiration. And I really like this card. It was made by Pam Sparks. So um, again, go check it out on Pinterest. Um, you'll see the card that I kind of uh, made with inspiration from her. So the first card I'm making is using these kind of... Uh, triangle shaped dies and I chose the colors black light purple dark purple and a turquoise and I think they just went really well together and you're gonna see me put a few of them together I cut out seven total of each color but I only ended up using six of the different little things and these to me reminded me of fans I also um, used my big hello die I cut out two of those you're going to see me here um, put the, I, I wanted to use brown because I thought it went with the turquoise really well and it helped it pop. So I am going to mat that onto the dark purple panel here. These are all going to be a two size card. So you'll see me, I fought with my glue a little bit in this video. So I apologize. I had to get out and get a new one. So you'll see me. I wanted to try to do cards that I hadn't seen anyone else do anything like them. Um, so I wanted something different, right? So you'll see me try to play here. And I think this one turned out really nice. Um, I've seen a lot of people make like flowers or half flowers out of these that were really pretty. But I just wanted to give you guys some different inspiration or something different that you could do uh, with this die. So I decided to put three of them in the opposite corners. I think they look kind of pretty like that just to kind of frame the card. These reminded me kind of a pe of a peacock, um, the coloring and everything in them. So I really, I really enjoyed making this card. I thought it turned out really nice. And you'll see, I kind of get this one die a little wonky in the very beginning, but I'm just rolling with it. Um, I think it still turned out really nice, but you'll see here in a minute, I get it stuck down a little high, but it's okay. I think the card still looks really pretty. You'll see me kind of fiddling here little bit I just think the turquoise and the browns and the purples all went so great together and then I am using art glitter glue for most of this guys um, I do like to have a little wiggle room and I'll use Aileen's tacky glue um, like for my base I, I use the Aileen's tacky glue and then for the little detail work um, since I have that fine metal tip on my art glitter glue I like to use it if you're new to card making um, and you're thinking about what types of dies and stuff you should buy, I would recommend buying word dies like this hello, I use thank you, I use happy birthday. I reach for these all the time when I make cards. So I get a lot of use out of those, a, a big bang for my buck so to speak. So I like using those types of dies a lot. And I really enjoy this little uh, Spellbinder small die of the month. Um, it runs $12.50. I believe shipping is free on this one. So, and I just, I just like to experiment. I think they make nice, easy cards and they're beautiful when they're done. So I enjoy getting this every month in the mail. If you guys are looking for art glitter glue, you can, I usually buy mine from May May Made It Shop. I'll have a link below in the description box if anybody's interested in, in getting any of that. Um, again, I recommend getting that fine metal tip that goes on it because I just think it makes it a lot easier, especially with this very detailed little work. 
and you'll see when I put my hello down there I didn't quite get it centered and this is another thing that I love about the art glitter glue I was able to kind of pick it up and put it back down and don't worry guys because you're not going to see any of that glue because it dries clear um, and even if a little bit of it would have shown, um, you'll see I add some sequins here in a little bit and you could cover it up with that. Now guys, I buy my sequins at the Dollar Tree. Um, usually you can find, um, well, some of my sequins I buy at the Dollar Tree and they come in like little five packs and they're all coordinated colors and I just dump them all into those little tins and mix them up so that I kind of have coordinating colors put together um, when I go to use them. I don't know about you, but I fiddle a lot with sequins. I want it to look like it's naturally laying out there and not too structured, um, but sometimes they always end up looking structured. So I try to make them look natural and stuff, but I don't always succeed. So you'll see, I put um, quite a few sequins on this. I got went a little overboard, but even after um, I finished recording this part, I ended up putting a few more. So in the final pictures, you'll notice I added probably two or three more sequins to this one, but I just love the sparkle and shine that it shows. And that's gonna be card number one. For card number two, here is the inspiration I drew from Pinterest, um, from Pam Sparks. And I had some alcohol ink panels um, that I did from a Simon Says um, kit one month, and I will put the link to that video up above. And then I just cut out the very top layer of the hexagon shapes. And then I just started stacking them on top of my alcohol ink panel. Now, I wasn't sure how this was gonna go because I had never really tried to glue anything um, onto the alcohol panels, so. This, I will tell you, was a little bit fussy for me. I'm not a fussy person when it comes to card making. I like clean, simple cards. But I think that the result was worth it on this one. I love, um, I don't know if you can tell or not, but it's got some red foiling on this alcohol ink panel. And I had a blast making these. If you've never tried the alcohol inks um, on the Yupo paper, it's a lot of fun. So I thought this was a perfect way to use one of these panels because they turned out so pretty. I kind of wish I would have had a, a lighter colored panels, maybe some pinks, um, some purples and stuff. But this is what it looks like then when I get them all on there. And I cut three of the happy birthday sentiments out on this uh, mirrored red cardstock that I had. And I'm just going to pop that right in the middle there. I find that I, the cards I use the most are ones that are happy birthday and thank you. Um, so you'll see me make a lot of those cards because those are the ones that, that I use. So I'm just going to glue that on here very carefully with my art glitter glue so I don't make a mess. And then I'm just going to pop it right there in the middle of that panel. And that is going to be my card number two. Thank you Pam Sparks for that inspiration. I love how this one turned out. I'm just going to put my acrylic block on there to hold it down until the glue is dry. For the third card I'm using the little circle uh, dies here and these really look like the kaleidoscopes to me. And again this is I'm using that color scheme that had the lime in it so the lime green a blue and a dark blue and I thought these went together really well and you'll just see me putting those together and I did fuss a little bit with the top layer to these getting them lined up I don't I don't know it was just the struggle was real trying to get this lined up but I'm not sure why because they really lined up pretty easy but on camera I was having a hard time I was kind of fidgeting with it because I wanted that little star shape in the middle to show just right but once you got it on there and got it all glued down. It's stunning, right? Um, I just love these dies. I think they're very versatile. That bottom layer reminds me of the little uh, Viewmaster things that you used to put in that had the different pictures on them. You could probably use that layer just for that. And then I'm noticing as I'm doing this voiceover that I really like just the bottom two layers. They look like a flower. I think that would have been really pretty also. But for this card, I'm gonna do all three layers. And I just chose to make a layer from each color, like the top layer, um, a middle layer, and a bottom layer in all green. And the same with the light blue and the dark blue, just to add some interest to this card. If you guys don't know, I like really bright cards. I like 
fun colors. Um, I'm not too much into black and white. Again, here's another thanks die that I decided to use because I like thank you cards. Um, I like to give out thank you cards. And I decided to use this um, neon pink uh, as my top and then the bright green there as the bottom part to show through the thanks. And I think it turned out pretty um, pretty, I just like the, the bright colors, so it looks very summery to me, very fun. I'm not too much for the dark fall colors. Um, I just like the bright colors, the rainbow colors. Um, you'll see me do a lot of rainbow type themes and just bright colors. And so I just wanted to kind of pop these on here, just any which way. And again, I'm going to be adding my sequins um, that I bought from the Dollar Tree to these and I'm doing a light blue a dark blue and a lime and again fiddling with these and I didn't want them to look so uniform but then they ended up looking uniform anyways but it's okay I still like how this one turned out it's a fun bright card it would be a great thank you card um, for for anyone who's helped you out or anyone you would you know you just want to show some appreciation to and you're gonna see me here um, just glue all of these down again with my art glitter glue Again, I was just trying to make a few projects that um, were different than every, everyone else's that I had seen. Since it's so late in the month, I was kind of getting a late start. There were a lot of um, other inspiration out, out there, so I wanted to try to do something different. So I love the brightness of this card. Guys, if you don't know, I'm also on Instagram. I'm at hooked.on.crafts on Instagram. Um, stop over and see me there sometimes and again I'm at Pinterest I'm at hooked on crafts and yeah I I love to pin different cards um, that that I love and just give me inspiration so I'm fairly new to card making so I draw a lot of inspiration from other people that post things to Pinterest and I hope they're able to draw uh, to get some inspiration from the ones that I post so that's kind of why I do this is to just inspire everybody so that we all can uh, create beautiful cards. So again, I'm fussing with the sequins here, just trying to get them just right, and then in the end, they really look really uniform. But hey, that's the way it goes sometimes. If you like my videos, please remember to like and subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any videos that I put out. I'm trying to get better about being more consistent with my videos, so yeah. Hopefully you'll see a lot more from me. And here's a look at the cards one by one. This is my happy birthday card that kind of looks like stained glass in the back. And this one I think is my favorite, the hello. I just love the color scheme of this one. I think it turned out really pretty. And here's our fun summery looking thank you card. Again, something just fun. And here's a look at all three together. And I appreciate you guys stopping by to share some time with me. And I hope you enjoyed this inspiration. And happy crafting, everyone. Thanks a lot, guys. See you next time. Bye.